Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chino Does Stuff. It's fantastic to have you here. Today I'm continuing my series on Power Apps and I'm going to revisit an old subject, exporting the PDF. Over the last couple of months, I've received uh, quite a lot of questions on how to include image files in a PDF export. I didn't include this in my original video because I was trying to keep that video as short as possible and as simple as possible. But um, due to the amount of questions I've had on this subject, I feel it's probably uh, best that we cover this. By the end of this video, you'll know how to do this as well. Let me show you how. Okay, so as always, let's start with the Power App. This is the Power App I used in my last video. So what I've done is I've added a couple of extra features. I've added the feature to be able to open a record in read only, and I've added this uh, PDF button. So in the previous video, I showed you how to call a flow from a button within Power Apps and uh, in our flow, we're generating our PDF. So for the people who have watched my previous video on exporting the PDF, you'll know your PDF button calls a Microsoft flow and it's flow that uh, generates the PDF for you. Now, um, if you haven't watched that video, I'll link to, link to it on the screen now. You really need to have watched that video first before you watch this one. This is a, an, uh, an add-on to that video. Um, I don't cover those subjects again, so really make absolutely sure you watch that video first. Now, there'll be some changes that we need to do to this button to generate that PDF with images. So in this example, we're only sending the dynamic content we want from Power Apps to our workflow. Our workflow is going to create our HTML document. So if we see here, I've got a notepad just set up. I'm finding it's actually a lot easier to do this in notepad than it is just directly in the interface. So if we go up here in my previous video, the HTML will look that we're sending from Power Apps will look very much like this. It's an entire HTML5 document. Now, what we want to do is actually cut that down. So all we want to send is our dynamic content from Power Apps. So we only want to send really everything. Well, in my example, I'm going to send everything within my table structure because it's my table that I want to display in my PDF go back to our power app and if we look at our HTML export now you can see that all I'm sending my HTML string to my workflow is the table data now I'm not sending the entire HTML document if we have a look at the SharePoint site I've added a couple extra document libraries one is images now this is where I've stored the image that I want to put in my PDF file in my example I'm just going to use a static image every time just to show you how to include images in your PDF as you get more advanced and you play around with these techniques you'll come up with new ways to import images into your PDF um, either by uploading them from power apps and then have flow uh, access those files, passing the file names from Flow, from Power Apps to Flow. There'll be more advanced techniques that you'll be able to use here, but for this example, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm just going to show you the uh, a static image every time. And I just have a document library where I'm going to be saving my PDF files to. So if we go back to Flow, we have to add a couple of additional steps to our Flow to get it to encode that file, that image file in our PDF and display it correctly. So the first action we want to add after we've initialized our variables and remember we're working with our flow that we created in our first video so if you haven't watched that go back and watch it and we want to insert an action and the action is get file content and it's a SharePoint action so the first site the first parameter is the site address and that's the site that contains all my content the second parameter is the actual image file so that is the address to the image in SharePoint images library and the actual image file name. Okay, so the next step in our flow, we want to initialize the variable. This is where it gets a little bit trickier. Call it uh, whatever name that you'd like to call it. I've called mine PDF image. It's type string. Now in here, we want to 
just expand that. We're going to create an expression and the expression we're going to use is data URI open brackets content open brackets body open brackets single quote get file content which is a reference to our previous step in our workflow. So if I just show you, if I start typing that, you can see Power Apps prompts us. Close quote. I'll select body. Get file contents. Content. So the next thing we need to do is edit our existing create file action. I'm going to leave everything the same except for the file content where before this just contained the HTML variable. Now I'm going to create a expression and I'm going to use the concat function. Now let me just bring up notepad because it's a lot easier to do this in notepad and just paste it in here than try to do this within the interface. It's definitely a lot easier for me to show you. So just let me bring up notepad. We've got our concat function. Our first string is the start of our HTML5 boilerplate. And then we close that we open and close that with single quote, comma. We, we insert our PDF image variable that we created in our previous flow step, comma. Open single quote again for the next string. We close off our image tag. Create some more HTML. And then for our last string, so we, another comma variables, our var HTML, which is our variable that we've defined in flow that has gotten the dynamic content from Power Apps. So once I'm happy with that, I just copy that entire function, go back to flow and under my create file, under file content, under expression. I just paste that in and click save. Now let's test that. Let's go to our power app. I'll open that record and I'll click our PDF generator. I'll open the PDF and as you can see, my image file has now been included in my PDF correctly. So that's it for another video. I hope you guys are enjoying the content as much as I'm enjoying bringing it to you. If you are, feel free to hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.